English Across the Pond. Hi, I'm Jennifer, your co-host and American English teacher. And I'm Dan, your other co-host and British English teacher. And this is English Across the Pond. We are both native speakers and have been teaching a combined total of over 20 years all over the world. Our mission is to help English learners build confidence and fluency for natural, real conversations. We love showing you how to naturally use idioms and expressions, phrasal verbs, vocabulary and grammar, while also helping you practice American and British English differences. After every episode, you too will have new vocab and ideas to have your own conversations and finally start using English. Want to start practicing today? Head over to our website and learn how you can join our Telegram community, daily group speaking classes, and download more of our learning materials and resources. You can do all that at www.englishacrossthepond.com. Now let's find out what today's conversation is all about. Hello, dear listeners. Welcome. It's time for another conversation. We are talking about the John, the Can, the Bathroom, the Loo, Restroom, Washroom, Ladies, Gents, WC. Toilet. Oh, yeah. How are, how are things uh, across your, in your neck of the pond? <laughs> <laughs> Mixing up the phrases. Across the pond in your neck of the woods. Great. It's hot today. But I love it. I can't complain. Because I don't like the cold, I feel like I cannot ever complain about the heat. So it's great. How about you? I would ask you what the temperature is, but I wouldn't understand it because you'd say like 88. And to me, that's nearly actually like, you know, boiling temperature. Here in Europe, we don't do Fahrenheit. So, uh, yeah, I'm all right, thanks. And for all our centigrade listeners, I'll just tell you it's early evening and it's a lovely 18 degrees. Woo! Ooh. We're talking about bathrooms, the loo, the John, the can, the loo, the washroom, the washroom, the loo. Um, yeah, I'm British. I'm British, so we don't normally talk about this sort of thing. So forgive me if I go silent or get embarrassed. You're so prim and proper. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's you what's did the most... you you, you want... did kind of sorry put up a fight about doing this episode. I had to really try to convince you, right? Twist my arm. Yeah. Yes, I did actually. I was like, we don't need, we shouldn't do that, but we're going to do it in a nice way. Wait until I ask you to send me pictures. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. All I want to know, I've got two questions for you. First of all, what do you call the, we call it sometimes the smallest room, the littlest room. What do you call the smallest room in the house in the US of A? What's the name for it? Um, the bathroom? The closet? I'm kind of confused. We're talking about toilets, but the littlest space in my house is a closet. Oh, yeah. Not in our house. Our, the, the smallest room in our house is uh, the little boy's room. <laughs> is it toilet. just like a tiny little room with just a toilet? No, we've got two. We've got two. Uh, the one downstairs is just a loo. Yeah, but upstairs is like the loo's in the with the bath and with the you know the sink, etc. Um. So you have two bathrooms. One of your bathrooms yeah. has a bathtub or just a shower. Yeah. Both. A bathtub and a toilet on the inside, and a sink to wash your hands. All of that is in one room. Yeah, in in up in the upstairs bathroom, there's one room so, called whoa. the bathroom, and it's got a loo in it, and a shower, and a bath, and uh, you can wash your hands and face in the sink. Okay, cool. And then downstairs, you just have a room with a toilet. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, we call, we call that a half bath, <laughs> <laughs> which is funny because it actually those a half bath doesn't have a bath at all. 
So if yeah, we're looking actually, at a house, like my old house was a three bedroom, two and a half bath. Two wow. full bathrooms with the shower, the tub, the toilet, the sink. And yeah. then the one downstairs, which is kind of like the guest bathroom, right? Has yeah. just a sink and a toilet, a half bath. It's a very funny picture if you imagine someone sitting in the half bath and trying to put the water on and they don't realise there's no bath behind them and it's just all running, the water's just running and away. And then it just... Whoosh. <laughs> you know what I find funny is how funny you find it that we call it a bathroom, but it's, it's the, that's what you call it in your house. So why yeah, is it do. different in like a restaurant or something? Yeah, well, if you're in a bar... And someone says, where's the bathroom? I mean, like, you know, unfortunately, madam, there are no bathing facilities in this pub. You can go to the toilet through there, but you can't have a bath. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Uh, very yeah. true. Which, again, to the to the criticism of the United States of America's English, we also call it a restroom. <laughs> And so, like, yeah. are you are you resting in there? You know, so if I go to a bar in the UK and I'm like, because a restroom is actually kind of a little bit more like formal, like it's a little less direct. Like if you're mm. like with if you're with like the president, you wouldn't be like, excuse me, where's the bathroom? You'd be like, where's excuse the me, where's where's the restroom? Oh, yeah. The restroom is more like it's a nicer, gentler, more formal way to say it. Gotcha. But if I go to a pub in London and I'm like, excuse me, where's the restroom? They'd be like, you want to rest uh, your house? Like, I, you know, I could see the confusion of a restroom if somebody had like never had experience with American English. Yeah. Interesting. Restroom. But, but then if you're, in a, if you're in a bar or a pub and you ask for something with the word room in it, it's probably going to be... The John, the can, the loo. <laughs> it's probably going to be one of those, isn't it? Do you call it in America? Do you call it like the lady? Where's the excuse me? Where's the ladies or where's the gents? The ladies' room. Where's the ladies' room? Where's the men's room? We wouldn't say where's the gents or where's the gentlemen's room. I need to powder my nose. <laughs> we do say I need to powder my nose. I need to freshen up. Yeah. Um, I need to have so a I, shit. <laughs> oh my God, Dan. You said you were embarrassed. I got carried away. Sorry. You did. So because we call it like the, I need to powder my nose, I think it can also be called the powder room. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can I just run some by you? Spend a penny. Do you say, excuse me, Bob, can I spend a nickel somewhere around? Do you spend a nickel or a dime or do you spend a penny or none of those? I have never heard that expression in Spend a my penny. 21 years of living on this earth. <laughs> <laughs> you, were in a, you were in a coma for 19 years. <laughs> um, spend a penny. It used to be like it would cost 1p to use the public restroom. Oh, so we call it spending a penny. That is brilliant. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. That's I why I asked about like a nickel. Yeah. I don't ever remember. Inflation. <laughs> yeah. It used to be a penny. Now it's a quarter. Now it's yeah. a half dollar. Um, 50p so i remember having to pay to use the toilet when i was traveling in venice oh yeah i am sure paid public bathrooms exist in the u.s i'm sure that they do i can't think of a time that i have ever encountered one really i don't I, i'm trying to think of when i've ever had to pay to use a public bathroom like a standalone, it's in the middle of the city, it's a facility that's just a, like toilets, you know, and sinks. It makes sense that you would pay money to go inside because the payment would would yeah. pay for the facilities themselves, the maintenance and, and everything. I cannot think, I definitely don't think they exist in San Diego because there are so many public bathrooms, like at beaches, at parks, at some playgrounds. My next, my second question was going to be about, like, you know, going to the loo um, when you have a call of nature uh, uh, oh, and you need to freshen me. up. Nature's calling. 
Yeah, nature's calling. Um, whether or not, because I think that can be a really big fear for people who are maybe like, you know, someone's going to London for the first time and they're thinking, what if I'm caught short? I'm thinking of all these expressions now. What if I'm caught short and I need to spend a penny? Like, And sometimes I think in a different country, in our own hometown or our home city, we just go into that cafe, maybe where our friend works, or you know how the country works. So you know that like, maybe you shouldn't, but maybe you can just go to the loo in the restaurant. So yeah. in... In San Diego, you said there's a lot of like public loos, but is there any chance that, because it can be a place, I'm sure at certain times in American history or in certain towns or in certain neighborhoods or whatever, it can be a bit of a no-go area, can't it? Have I just got to use my judgment and sort of think, well, it looks nice and it smells fresh, I'm going in. Oh, to a public bathroom? Yeah, have I got to keep my wits about me? Might I get stabbed? No. Oh, stabbed. Well, I mean, depends on where you're going to the bathroom. There are definitely places, I think, in every city where you can get stabbed somewhere, you know? Um, Yeah. But, you know, now that you say that, there are, like, sometimes... I There are some times where, like, I do go into a public bathroom and I think, like, well, there's no way out of this one, (laughs) you know? Like... (laughs) I'm, I'm well I'm in here hope I hope it's okay you know yeah. but I think that's just a not to not to bring gender into this or like gender gender type or anything but I think that's just kind of a, more of a woman's fear I think women are naturally more fearful in public spaces thanks to the the vulgarness that men are just kidding thanks for that <laughs> but generally like if I'm if I need to go to the loo in San Diego, like I, sh- I mean, if I'm on the beach or whatever, do you think like if if someone uses their common sense, then there's not too much to worry about, really? Yeah, totally fine. Cool, thanks, Jenna. But I mean, cleanliness. I don't know. Like a lot of the beaches, a lot of the public beach bathrooms in like more heavily heavily populated areas, especially tourist areas. I mean, sometimes by the end of the day, they are just <laughs> nasty, you know, and especially yeah, sure. at the beach because there's so much sand and water that there's just like paper on the toilet paper on the floor yeah, yeah, sure. all this stuff yeah. but nothing will ever beat my experience of using a porta potty at virada cultural in sao paulo which was a free like music and art oh, kind of yeah. festival yeah where it was free and all ages could join Holy shit, literally. Yeah. Piling up out of where you sit down. I went in having to go to the bathroom. I came out throwing up. (laughs) That made me that made me think of a bathroom joke. Dan, if you're an American when you go into the bathroom and you're an American when you come out of the bathroom, (laughs) what are you inside the bathroom? Yeah, this is the second time you've told this joke. You you, (laughs) you do realize that. I don't know, Jennifer, what are you if you're all those things you just said? You're in the bathroom. You're a European. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Pun. Pun, the wor- pun, the pun. worst toilets I've ever been to in my life, I have to say, were in the People's Republic of China. Not in the main, lovely, beautiful, pristine 21st century towns, but if you get off the beaten track, my friend, you catch a bus to nowhere and visit... Oh, my goodness. Sometimes it's just like a wooden plank across a hole. Don't go at night time. Why? Do you fall in? Well, you can't see where the wooden plank is. I mean, you're taking your life into your hands. Yeah. I mean, there is something very, very culturally specific about bathrooms. Yeah. Bathrooms are different in every part of the world. And I think it's an interesting thing for, like, for Americans. You know, Americans, (laughs) it's like a very clean bathroom experience you know <laughs> yeah no, and the no, rest no. of the world is really dirty no 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 no. listen to here no hear me out here i think it's a good experience for americans like it's an eye-opening experience and i'm speaking from like i've never personally had this feeling but i have traveled with other people yeah and like so here in the u.s there's no oh. there's never any issues with like throwing toilet paper into the the toilet 
Oh, yeah. You know, you go into yeah. a bathroom, you have a toilet, you sit, yeah, yeah, yeah. you do your business, you take care of your business, toilet paper goes in the thing, you flush it and you leave. Right? Yeah. But like yeah. parts in Mexico, parts in Brazil, you yeah. know, you have to like put your toilet paper into a trash can. Yeah. For me, that idea was foreign. It was very like, huh, interesting, you know? <laughs> That's but <one> like, <laughs> it just, it is what it is. So what I've seen is I've seen on like travel blogs and, and kind of when I told people, like when I was living in Brazil and people were asking about it, like, oh, what's the same? What's different? I brought up the fact that that was different. And people, the immediate thought is like, oh my God, that's such a stinky bathroom with like all the, to- all the poop toilet paper in a trash can. Yeah. And so it's like this, I, this, this foreign concept is so beyond, I think, like certain people from certain countries, you know, and it's like, no, it's, it's not, it's not stinky. It's not gross. You know what I mean? It's like done in a very clean, sanitary, appropriate way. Yeah. 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 But Do it's you know what I mean? uh, pers- perspective. Totally perspective. But then like, I will say, I think my most shocking experience was when I was on an overnight train in Bangkok, mm-hmm. you know, and I like went to the bathroom and there was a hole in the floor of the train. And then when like, I think we got there at night. And so like I went to the bathroom, you know, and then the next morning when I got up, I realized it was a hole that went directly to the train tracks. Uh huh. And so for me, I was like, oh my gosh, I threw toilet paper down there. Like I littered. I had this feeling of like, oh my God, I littered, you know, but is that, but that's what's culturally acceptable. I'm right. You lived in Thailand. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't catch that many trains to be honest, but um, yes. And it's, um, you know, we have to uh, experience these things. It's uh, broadens the mind, broadens the mind. Yes. And so I just want to be really clear because I think with cultural differences, it could be like, I'm not making fun. I'm not criticizing. I'm not saying it's, any negative it's just different and that was like the most different thing that i've ever experienced but i think it can be quite different for the other side like in my language school they had signs on the bathroom that had like signs of a person sitting on top of a toilet with a circle and a line through it and people who see that sign again i've seen this in travel forums people have taken a picture of that sign and, and they're blown away like what the heck is this? What do you mean? Like, why do people need this sign? And it's like, well, because people squat. Yeah. yeah and so yeah. when you see this strange, like, toilet coming up out of the ground, you're like, oh my God, how do I squat on this thing? It's like aerobics. <laughs> it's a, uh, yeah, a feat of balance. Yeah. Yeah. But my sort, I mean, it's, it's getting away from the topic, but my example of that was kind of, you know, people me blowing my nose into a tissue and putting it in my pocket and people being absolutely disgusted about the fact that I'd want to keep it with me. <laughs> keep it with me like why don't you just blow it out of your nose onto the floor what are you doing you're disgusting why are you putting that so it's kind of like putting poop in my pocket because I blew my nose on the tissue and put the tissue in my pocket like what are you doing <laughs> yeah and um I, until I'd I'd never considered that I, you know, I'd never, ever thought of it that way. So it's great to have those sort of things. I think they really, anything that sort of tests your reality or pushes your boundaries or whatever is very helpful, I think. Very enlightening. Very good for you. Yeah. Can I ask, uh, are you a shower or bath kind of person? Oh, I love baths. Uh. I love baths. I don't have a bathtub at my house that's like, my bathtub mm. is like the small kind of standard one, you know, so it's like I have to either have to choose like is my top half out or are my legs out, uh, you know, yeah. I have to kind of choose. But my friend yeah. has this beautiful bathtub that I really try to enjoy every time I'm here. <laughs> it's so nice. And how uh, about like, because the most frustrating thing about baths is like once you've got in, it goes up really high, but then there's that whole thing. So it all goes down and then half of you is cold, the, the sort of top so bit of I, I found and I had ordered this thing. There, there exist these cover-up things that you put over it. It's this oh, yeah. little like, like silicone thing with suction cups, and you pop it on, and then you can. It doesn't. It doesn't drain. Yeah, but when you get in the bath, doesn't it all fly over the floor? Well, no, because usually if I'm filling up my bath at home, I'm mm-hmm. like my friend's bath is so deep, I don't have to worry about that. Yeah. 
with mine, I usually start, I'll start to put, like, I'll turn on it. I'll turn on, I'll plug it up. I'll grab my Epsom salts. I'll grab my essential oils. I'll grab the candles. I'll grab whatever I need. And I'll kind of start setting it up while some of the water is filling up. And then I actually get in so it fills up with me inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the trick. Next question is, what about when you're in the bath or when you're sitting on the can? Uh, phone, books, uh, music, newspapers, magazines. Do you sort of uh, educate yourself while you're doing your things? You know what? That's a question that I am not comfortable sharing on the world internet. Oh. What I do in the bathroom is my own business. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, you're, you're entitled to your privacy. There's a well, lock on the door for a reason. There is a lock on the door. Well, there's a reason why they, quote, they, whoever they are, they say that a person's phone is the most germy contaminated thing like ever. Oh, yeah. Because I would probably say a large majority of the world's population takes their phone in when they go, when they do business. We call yeah. it doing business as well. I got to go take care of some business. Yeah. But can we just really quickly bring up before like time gets away from us and we yeah. run out of time? Uh huh. How this episode was inspired? Can I tell the story? Yes, go ahead. Fitty so boots. I was on a, I was on a hike with my friend and my son and her son and we were walking and all of a sudden my son goes, "I have to go pee," mm. and so I was like, "Okay, we'll find somewhere to pop a squat." And I was like, pop uh, yeah. a squat. It's such a funny, like, such a funny phrase. And I thought, oh my gosh, like, I wonder if this is an American English thing, whatever. So I raced home and I sent you a WhatsApp and I said, hey, I don't remember how I asked you, but it was like, if I said I need to pop a squat, do you know what it would mean? I think that's, you know the, what it meant? A, the, that's the exact question you sent me. And I didn't know what it meant, but I had a guess. Ooh, what was the guess? Have a poo. <laughs> <laughs> have a poo. I think that's such a funny. To have a poo. Yeah. Have a poo. Um, like have a poo. Like yeah. take a poo in New ah, Zealand. Yeah. Like Titicaca. Um, to have a poo. Yeah. So you were half right, kind of right, sort of right. Um, it just means like to go to the bathroom. And it means like, you know, because uh. you squat, you kind of get in that squatting position. I mean, at least like. That's what you do in Thailand and China, right? You squat down above this hole. We do more of a sitting than squatting, but I think it probably came from... We. I don't think we've always been sitting. I think once upon a time we squatted. Yeah, well, you'd imagine. Which reminds me, there's a thing that's very popular here in America called the squatty potty. Do you know what that is? No, ma'am. The squatty potty. So it's this little stool that goes around your toilet. And so you like put your feet up on top of the stool. Ah, uh, I know, yeah, yeah. So it kind of creates the squatting like position because they say that's the ultimate position to go to the bathroom. Well, it's the correct position, isn't it, I think? Yes, yeah. And I think yeah. in the West, somehow we've learned to uh, go to the loo in the wrong way. And it's again, it's so strange. It's out of like that prim and proper, or like this the bathrooms, everybody does it but it's this like discreet embarrassing like thing that you don't talk about taboo it's a taboo subject i don't think the queen does it of course she does it she probably does it like <laughs> seven times a day she's getting, <gasps> she's getting older you know <gasps> yeah maybe maybe she does who knows last question uh just out of curiosity do you know what color your toothbrush is combing a toothbrush do you know what color your toothbrushes. Oh, I do know. It. It's a bamboo toothbrush. Ah, okay, good. I think it's one of those right. things that, you know, we just go on autopilot. And I think very often we sort of think, what actually, what color is my toothbrush? I have no idea. Because it's one oh, of those things that we okay. just do and we don't think about it. Yes, I get what you're saying. I, autopilot. I, I'm following. And um, what, kind of, what kind of toothpaste do you use? I am in between all different kinds of toothpaste. I usually use uh, the brand yeah. Tom's, which is a natural toothpaste. Um, I have tried to, you know, cause I'm, I try to be as eco-friendly as I can. I have tried to use the powder. I have tried to use a little like chewable tabs. Oh. They just haven't really worked for me. Next, I want to try um, 
this paste at my refill shop. So I. Oh yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. Nice. But wait, I want to ask. Probably not so now because she's older. She's also a very mature young lady, your daughter. Mm. But yeah. ever any embarrassing situations in public related to the bathroom with your daughter? You know, kids <laughs> say the darndest things. Well, there was one time uh, when uh, she was playing. We were in this lovely little park. It's really nice. It's just a little private park. It's only like sort of like... Hmm, 10 meters by 30 meters or something and um she got so excited about playing the game that she weed her pants oh okay i'll say it louder she peed her pants yeah yeah good yeah good yeah um i'm gonna support your daughter and stand in solidarity and said i was i laughed so hard in middle school that i peed my pants at school oh. <laughs> <laughs> and like and that was like a thing like like at school, it was mortifying. Live that so, down. So, oh my God, awful. Yeah. But like, I also laughed so hard. I peed my pants. I probably couldn't even count how many times I peed my pants. And there wow. are still times that I laugh so hard. And I'm like, okay, stop that. <laughs> like I have to go pee and I have to run to the bathroom. I think I guess I've always had a weak pelvic floor. Hmm. I don't think boys do that, do they? I don't know. I can't. I don't know. I don't know if well, ever the sensation of having to pee as a boy and what, what it's very like rarely, to hold it. I very rarely laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor right. little Amy. Have we done it? No. Uh, well, so I want to tell my embarrassing story. Okay. It's not really that embarrassing, but like a couple of things is like, number one, my son takes four eh ver to go mm. to the bathroom oh number two poo poo mm -hmm. not number mm -hmm. one pee pee number two poo -poo. takes forever so when we have to go in like a public place and it's like a restaurant where there's only one bathroom stall oh. or like a bar with one thing it's just like sometimes i do feel a little bit embarrassed because we'll be in there sometimes like eight minutes which is a long time if you're standing outside trying to wait for the bathroom awkward so and then I have to like open the door like <laughs> he's little <laughs> you know like Sorry. I don't know what to say but then yeah. another kind of embarrassing story is my son now like it, this happens at home so sometimes like if our doors and our windows are open like my neighbors can like hear or like sometimes if we go in a public bathroom and we'll like be walking I'm like oh okay babe like we have to go to the bathroom at home I'll be like oh hold on I'll come back to this game I need to go to the bathroom or if we're at a store oh one sec I have to use the bathroom do you have to go pee or poo? <laughs> <laughs> Literally yeah. every time. Oops. Is it pee or poo? Every time I'm like, um, um, it's uh, um, poo, uh, poo, honey, poo, 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 poo. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Anyways, kids Gorgeous. love them. Yeah, Gorgeous. can't live with them. Can't live without them. What's your most embarrassing bathroom story? <laughs> Let us know in Telegram. Yeah, join us for embarrassing toilet tales. <laughs> yes. That's a really good episode title. Embarrassing toilet tales. I like it. Yeah, we'll do a Christmas special. Oh my special. gosh. We'll do a Christmas special and it can be everybody, every of like our listeners stories on the podcast. Oh my God, I love it. Gorgeous. Thank you for listening, everybody. We'll talk to you next time. Thank you for listening, everybody. We'll talk to you next time. Until the next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hello and welcome back. This is The Language Focus, the part of the podcast where we take a closer look at some of the vocabulary from this week's chat. What you're going to hear is part of a longer conversation over 10 minutes that is available to our members. If you'd like to hear the full conversation, head over to englishacrossthepond.com slash membership to find out more. I also, I'm not just saying this because, you know, I want it to sound like, oh, you know, I'm really loving all of this vocab. But this week, I really like twist your arm. I also do like to be blown away. Ah, uh, I'm blown so, away by that. 
I looked uh, online and tried to f work out if this is actually a word that we use because of explosives or the wind. You know, I wanted to find the history of this word. Ooh, unfortunately, technology. yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't find it. But if you're blown away, then you're super impressed by something. You think it's amazing. Uh, for example, if I now plugged my guitar in and, uh, yeah, you would be blown away. Oh, because you're so good? Oh, I'm incredible. Wow. I've heard you slapping the bass a little bit. Uh, you're pretty good. Yeah. Um, what kind of things... What, well, I'll tell you what actually does blow me away sometimes is, like, art. I think artists are amazing. So art, art can actually... Is amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can, I can be blown away by art. Oh, I'll tell you what else. Nature. Nature is so breathtakingly beautiful. It can definitely blow me away. Yeah. So it can blow me away or I am or I can be blown away by nature. Yeah. 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 Two different ways. Nice. I love it. Okay, hear me out. Go on. It's an expression. Kind of like yeah. you're telling me. The one, you know, it's, it's an expression and you're... Your intonation has to reflect it a little bit. Like, oh, okay, fine. Like, hear me out or hear me out. You know, it's yeah. kind of a direct expression. So we use it to ask someone, like, to listen to what I'm about to say. Pay close attention because what I'm about to say or maybe what I said could have been controversial or it's, like, easily misunderstood. So if I'm like, oh, God. Well, I think I was talking about bathrooms in this episode and I said, like, a really hard experience for me or maybe like sometimes other people traveling can get like grossed out and it was like maybe that could be offensive to somebody and it was like no no no, hear me out yeah i'm not trying to say it's a, a bad thing i'm not trying to speak negatively blah 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 blah, blah. so it just means like pay f pay close attention to what i'm about to say because i don't want you to misunderstand or think something different yeah, and I think maybe uh, you feel that you've been misunderstood. Yes, definitely. Great. And addition. people are starting. People are starting to say, "Oh, well, in that case, uh, I mean, if you don't like her, and you're like, whoa, 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 I didn't say that. I didn't like her. Hear me out. Like yeah. you haven't heard the whole story. Yes. Nice. Perfecto. Love it. Love hear it. Me out. Yeah. Hear me out. And when you say "hear me out," I think you often raise your hand. I do. I know or I like, do. Like, I'll put both my hands up. Like, whoa, whoa, hear me out. Yeah. And then at the end, they're like, oh. Oh, you're right. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry I called you that word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry that, like, I twisted your arm. And, and I didn't mean to run something so offensive by you, but nature was calling and I was caught short. Woo! Good to have you back. <laughs> I it's missed like, <laughs> I was blown away, you know, before time got away from us. I didn't want to just go on autopilot and finish it. But I got to keep my lips about do, do, me do. so everyone has a really eye-opening experience. And nobody puts up a fight that I don't do this anymore. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. You're on a roll. I know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back soon. I just say I got to feel it first. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get yourself down. What is it? Sedona. So, you know, oh God, I love Sedona. Don't even tempt me with a good time. Plug, you, plug yourself in. Yeah. Right. All right, mates. Let's we head to Telegram. Yeah. Until the next time. Until the next time. Cheerio. Bye. Bye.